all right welcome back I'm gonna have one quick another quick tutorial that's what I like quick tutorials uh, this one I'm gonna as I'm practicing getting my focus point set up um, I'm just doing this one as a partial screen for uh, focus on this YouTube thing getting my focus set in on the DVD that I'm actually making uh, that I will be making I'll be using full screen because I want you to see the full screen of what's happening okay but these are just practice things and I'm just putting some stuff out free so to speak help everybody out a little bit but I, I, I will be planning on making a, a, a real DVD but this will probably be one of them that I'll be showing on there as I'll be showing how to make a fast simple ring shanks things the bases to work from okay again these are all your own dimensions I'm just showing you and this one I'm not even gonna put any dimensions in I'm just gonna show you the technique do it on your own experiment it's like art class it's your your ring here's how you're gonna start I have this little dropout right there you won't have it but I have it on my I can pull up any size ring circle I need and we'll just make this a size 8 in my front viewport I have my circle sometimes on my command I might miss say something on one of my uh, the, my last video I kept saying surface surface says so this was a surface I was clicking surface they were circles <laughs> so these are all uh, one take shots and I ain't repeating I'm not uh, gonna remake them so if I happen to say the wrong thing forgive me and I'm trying to hook up the uh, uh, the sound and the uh, the video together it's off a little bit but I think that's just something that happens uh, but we'll, I'm working on it okay here's what we're gonna do I got the size 8 circle right there uh, let's take over here we're gonna right click this open up that uh, dropout hit the circle right there okay I've got my snap and ortho on I'll bring that in a little bit okay I wanna just make a spear I didn't mean I, there I see a circle I want is a spear I don't care how big you make it let's just make it right there whatever you want it's your deal let's click our circle and let's just drop it down again wherever you want I'm just put it there right now alright go once again over here and let's make another spear I got my uh, I got my snap north on again so it'll be right here make our spear whatever you want it's your deal right there I'll just make it there all right. Now, let's extrude this circle. Go up here, right click, go to extrude. And at the top viewport, you can see the top viewport up up here. I go past the spear. Again, that's a that's your an initial circle. You can cut that. We're done with that. Okay, let's extrude. So we're going to right here, right click it extrude right here click your spear right click click the part you just extruded right click alright now here's one thing I failed to do you can do this however you want we'll do it now and see if it works you could do I should have done this before anyway this is what we have up here so this is kind of a mistake well not yet still work with it now click it that's your sphere right there turn your control points on window click the bottom three drag them straight up my ortho was on okay straight up turn your control points off now let's boolean difference I can say I keep saying the wrong thing boolean difference these two okay click this sorry about the mistakes I'm uh, get excited here and we're gonna click that and there you have your bouillon differenced hollowed out now go over here and we'll pick a line can't do this as fast as I'd like to do because of this window screening but we'll see if we can get it in here pick a line we're going to turn ortho off put the line anywhere you want to put it okay I don't want it there let me redo that I'll put it right there okay 
anywhere you want to put this line you're in the right viewport click it when you're done and you're happy you're happy I'm happy click the line let's go over here right click and let's mirror that line okay put my ortho on and from the center point there we have oops let me just cut that a second there we have our two cutting lines now we're gonna go over here and right click open up this fly out I'll go to this one and right click it and open out that fly out there's wire cut right there click that now go over here click your wire cut select a surface or poly surface right there now we're gonna just first cut depth press enter to cut depth through direction just you can play with those on your own but for right now just right click it and the ring part highlighted what's ever yellow that's the part that will be cut away we don't want that cut away we want to keep it go up here to the top flip now as you can see it's flipped right click it has been cut away right click to repeat the command click your cutter click your poly surf or your surface right click it again that's highlighted yellow up here to the top click flip come back over here right click it it's been cut now highlight the cotton line press shift highlight that cutting line cut it now in a perspective viewport let me go back to that you can't see that in a perspective viewport there's your ring let me cut the grid off I'll turn the grid off okay and I'll do one other thing right here that's my own shading that I use and there you have the ring hollowed out I'm just showing you something a technique play with it you can use it on different shapes it don't have to be a ball or a spear uh, it could be different things whatever sizes you need just a technique I hope this uh, video comes out clear and hope you enjoy it uh, you like it Give me a comment. Let me know. Give a vote. Thanks and have an excellent day.